Hello, I've decided to put a video together because parts of Europe are about to get battered by a very big storm. So here we go. I've got a couple of things to show you. I thought I would uh, show you Dr. Jeff Master's Wonder Blog here as it currently stands at the moment. It says um, a developing extratropical low pressure system over the North Atlantic dubbed uh, Xaver, I don't know how you pronounce that, uh, by the Free University of Berlin, is predicted to bomb into a potent storm with winds near hurricane force that will bring damaging winds and storm tides to the coasts of Germany, the Netherlands and Denmark on Thursday. And as I'm currently uh, typing this at the moment, well, UK time right now, it is 12.50am in the early hours of Thursday mornings, and the storm is currently... As you can see here, taking shape. This is from uh, uh, yr.no website, a satellite, an animated satellite loop, which shows um, if you take a look up to the southwest of Iceland, uh, this lump of cloud here is the developing storm system, and this is the time. This is the timeline here, uh, progressing on through the loop. You can see developing all the time. So, uh, some of it's coming into Western Scotland at the moment. You can see the cloud diving in here. And um, if you look up in this direction up here, I keep playing this the loop. Here, you start to see a hook developing in the uh, and there's a, this is an interesting looking feature here uh, so this is the, the storm basically in embryonic stages of development at the moment on the satellite loop and back to Jeff Master's wonder blog by Thursday night Xavier's centre will cross southern Sweden and damaging winds from the storm will sweep the coasts of Poland, Lithuania and southern Sweden. The centre of the low will pass over southern Norway, bringing strong northwest winds that will funnel down the North Sea. The European model predicts that at 18 UTC on Thursday, winds on the west coast of Denmark will be sustained near 58 miles an hour. That's 93 kilometres per hour. Xever will be accompanied by intense thunderstorms capable of mixing the stronger winds are carrying aloft down to the surface, and wind damage may rival that of October's extratropical storm, Christian, also known as St. Jude Storm, which bottomed out at 968 millibars. Christian killed 18 people and did $1.4 billion in damage. There is a smaller chance that the wind damage from Xever will approach that of windstorm Anatol, which hit Denmark, southwest Sweden, and northern Germany on December 3rd, 1989. Anatol had sustained winds of up to 91 miles an hour, that's 146 kilometers per hour, killed 20 people, and injured over 800. Damage was $2.6 billion in Denmark, making it the costliest disaster in Danish history. That's the European model run. For Thursday, December 5th, 2013, calls for winds in excess of 60 knots, about 69 miles an hour, to affect the western coast of Denmark. See the purple shaded area here? The more recent 0Z Wednesday European model run has winds that are not quite as strong, though, about 5 miles an hour less. But even so. As you can see, uh, get your bearings here. This is the North Sea, and this is the UK over here. Pretty much escape, well, not totally escaping. Um, my office in this country have got amber wind amber warnings out for uh, a large swathe of northern and central Britain. The predicted surface winds of Xever will be similar to the ones the Netherlands experienced during the great February 1st, 1953 North Sea storm that breached dikes in the Netherlands and England and killed over 2,100 people. That storm bottomed out with a central pressure of 964 millibars. Wednesday's 0 Z European model run bottoms Xever out at 964 millibars, and the 12 Z GFS is more intense at 956 millibars. 
However, the 1953 storm was much slower and brought sustained winds in excess of 50 knots to the North Sea for more than 24 hours, allowing a huge storm surge in excess of 3 metres to pile up. In contrast, Xever is expected to bring 50 knot winds to the North Sea for about, only about 9 hours, and the storm surge will not be as high as occurred in 1953. The maximum storm surge of Xever will be in Germany and Denmark, further to the east than occurred in the 1953 storm. The storm tide will be unusually high since we are only two days past the new moon. Fortunately, the German coast is well protected by dikes, which are about 8 metres high, some even higher, and these dikes should be able to withstand Xavier's storm surge. The German weather service Xavier's storm surge forecast made Wednesday morning called for a storm tide of 3 metres above average high tide in Kingshaven and 2.75 metres in Bremerhaven during the high tide cycle early Friday morning. The deadliest flood of the last hundred years in Germany was the North Sea Flood in 1962, where many dikes broke and 340 people were killed. In the Bremerhaven area, the dikes from the 1840s were just able to withstand the storm surge, but were heavily damaged. Bremerhaven had installed storm, storm surge gates at the mouth of the river in East in the summer 1961 as a reaction to the 1953 flood in the Netherlands. That small-scale delta work saved the city. After this catastrophe, the dikes along the German coast were strengthened, just in time as the highest storm surge of at least the last 100 years occurred in January 1976. In Hamburg, the 1976 flood was 4.35 metres above average high tide, which is 6.45 metres above mean sea level. This is 75 centimetres higher than the storm surge of 1962, but the dikes were strong and high enough. 1976 to withstand the flood. So, I look again at the satellite image. Music in the background, by the way, is... Casimir's Blink. Just add a little drama to the proceedings. It's uh, Casimir's Blink. Casimir, an album called Corona. So, uh, parts of the UK, where the storm, uh, basically, uh, you see the satellite image of the, the storm in its uh, sort of embryonic stage at the moment. And uh, parts of the UK to be affected as this thing uh, rapidly deepens, as it starts to move eastwards. And then you've got... Scandinavia, the coast, uh, basically all, all of the North Sea is going to get it. Maybe sustained winds uh, getting up towards hurricane force. Um, the north coast of Denmark, the north coast of Germany, sorry, the north coast of the Netherlands, <laughs> engage brain. Um, but the north coast of Germany, Denmark particularly, of course, because Denmark juts up like this. Uh, the storm is heading directly for Denmark. Probably going to experience the worst, especially the west coast of Denmark, of this very potent storm system, which is expected to develop uh, during the next uh, 24 hours or so. So I thought I'd put a video together regarding this, because... Uh, very newsworthy event, I would have thought. Lots of warnings out. Lots of warnings out as well from the Environment Agency in the UK, talking about potential, because uh, uh, the wind's initially very strong coming from a westerly direction. We'll feed a lot of water from the Atlantic this, this, in this direction. And then in the wake of the storm, as they swing around to the north, by the way, in the wake of the storm, the wind swinging around to the north, pulling down cold arctic air behind it, turning much colder snow showers will be piling into 
Scotland in the wake of the storm. So a big blast from the west and then the north piles the water into the North Sea and then funnels it down like this. So big storm surge, because it's coinciding with high tides at the moment as well. Big storm surge expected to come down the North Sea. And this is going to be quite an event. So there you have it. See you in the next video.